Hi guys, Todd here at Hawk Ridge Systems, product manager for SolidWorks here. Want to go over uh, a great new sketch enhancement in SolidWorks 2014 today. Got just uh, kind of working up a little plastic bezel here and uh, what we want to introduce here is a new way to uh, help us avoid some of that more tedious rework or extra work that comes when we do some large uh, structural or geometric changes to our models that cause our downstream features to uh, have problems, let's put it. Uh, so let's say on this one our, our situation is we, it's a rectangular shape, we got some nice corners on there, but we need some, we need a little bit more visual interest, maybe more like an oval shape, maybe we can put some uh, arcs out on the sides or something like that. So that's going to require me to go into the very, the base feature, that first shape, and uh, I'm going to just sketch in, it could be splines or maybe a new one of those new conic curves, something like that, but we'll just go with uh, an arc here. I'm just going to rough it in and see how it looks. And then we'll mirror it across. Okay, so now those are the uh, entities I want to use instead of these vertical lines that are left behind. So I'm just going to uh, select both of those and we'll get rid of them. Okay, we'll just ignore that warning for now and we'll get back to it here in a second. Okay, so that's going to be my new shape. Hopefully it'll look a little bit better, but some of those of you who have been using the software a while probably know what's coming, right? And there it is. Could be worse, not an, exactly a tree of blood, but I've got lots of broken features now. Okay, and the reason for that is these downstream features were either using the sketch profile, maybe for offset entities in a sketch, maybe from an edge or corner created from that sketch uh, where fillets now are losing their edges things like that and that's just something that we've had to uh, deal with in the past and uh, so let's go back and let's take a look at how we can uh, save some time with that so we'll go back here to where we are so now let's get into that uh, warning a little bit more so now I'm going to delete this line and now let's read this warning. You'll notice it's a little bit more involved than it used to be in previous versions here and it tells us that the item I want to delete has some downstream features that are depending on it. And so instead of just deleting it and going and fixing it myself, which is the only way to do it in the past, now we can replace the entity. So what SolidWorks is going to do now, and we can either leave it behind as construction for a reference or we can get rid of it completely, but I can swap that line for that arc okay, using that dialog and what that's doing is going under the hood and telling those downstream features to use this new sketch entity instead of the one previous so now that we know that and we now that we know what's coming we can even uh, preempt it by just selecting an entity and right on our context toolbar here we have the ability to replace and again I'll just replace the arc with the or the line with the arc and there we go and now when I rebuild it's like magic. Look at that. No broken features because, again, SolidWorks went in and told those downstream features to use this new reference. So the reference was actively swapped uh, so that we didn't have to go fix those ourselves. So definitely take a look at that now. Instead of just deleting things and knowing that you're going to have to do a lot of cleanup, uh, be sure to use the replace entity function in 2014.